turn now to our legal analyst, Jeff Hosford from the Hosford Law Firm. He's joining us in the studio. Jeff, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Let's talk about not specifically this case, but a probable cause hearing, which we understand is what any school official has to go through if they are accused of a crime. Tell us what that is and why. Uh, basically, it involves any school official, police officer, or any person in charge of, or someone over a prison. Um, they have to have a probable cause hearing, which basically means you have to go present proof to a circuit judge, and that circuit judge has to pr find that there's probable cause to arrest the person. The idea is to prevent someone from just blankly charging teachers or law enforcement officers and those people being arrested with no merit to the actual charge. Um, however, a circuit judge can be presented probable cause without the hearing, and if he believes that the person will flee or there's an imminent danger to someone in the community, then the judge can go ahead and issue the issue issue the arrest warrant without the hearing. So this is similar, say, to uh, investigators presenting a case to a grand jury, but all of this information is just going to a judge, correct? Correct. It's, it's sort of like a drawn-out warrant issuing. A judge has to have probable cause to issue a warrant. The police will go to the judge and tell the judge what's going on. However, in this situation, the police go to the prosecutor, and the prosecutor summons the judge, and then they have a hearing under oath with the individual's that are alleging the crime occurred, and then the judge decides whether or not there's probable cause based on those statements under oath. All right. It can be a complicated issue. Jeff, thanks so much for sorting it out for us. We'll see you next week. Thank you for having me.